tonight, sea lion concerns after a man holding a fish was pulled underwater for 20 seconds in San Diego. That man's okay tonight, but Sunday's incident is cause to be alert as warmer weather brings more people to sea lion habitats in Sacramento. KCRA3's Kathy Park explains what you need to know. Darting in and out of the water. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, shoot. You might have gotten a glimpse of sea lions swimming in Sacramento waterways. They swim all the way from the bay. They follow the fish patterns. Agile and quick while weighing hundreds of pounds. I've come right up next to them like I acted for, like three or four feet away, and they're pretty good size. These large marine mammals aren't new to the rivers. They have historically been here, so this isn't particularly new. They are not uh, invaders here. This is their habitat as well. And that means we need to. To share the space. We want to make sure people know that they are wild animals and they don't need to be fed and they need to be kept at a safe distance. Animal experts say that sea lions tend to avoid humans and like to travel alone. That's why they're so elusive and hard to find. But when they're spotted and we get too close, they can get dangerous. I mean, if you're in a small boat, they can come up and capsize you. Experts say that incidents like that and the man pulled over in San Diego are rare. These types of incidences happen often when people get a little too close to wild animals. Anthony Johnson says he usually sees them on the confluence at Discovery Park, but always gives them plenty of space. It's only obvious, you know, that's a big animal, so, you know, you just got to stay away. In Sacramento, Kathy Park, 